Happy New Year, everybody. It is 2017, and just like last year, we are going to start the year off with a collection video. Here we have most of my figures. Got a couple to the side that just wouldn't fit in, uh, but we're going to be essentially dissecting this mountain of figures. I don't know. I wanted to kind of do this differently like I did another one of my collection videos, having it, you know, all presented and then pulling them back one by one. I feel like that'd be kind of different. So, I mean, I guess we can just start. This is going to be a long ride because we've got a lot of figures as you can see but starting things off here we've got somebody who isn't a good guy he's not even a bad guy he's just the guy we've got Roman Reigns over here if you hear something drop that's me throwing them into my bin because it's all the way to my left and next up here we've got Samoa Joe this elite figure which is awesome uh, I guess we'll take this guy next we've got my fix up all stars CM Punk figure with the SES uh, Luke Gallows vest which is dope of that guy. Here we go. We've got a custom elite Hideo Tommy. This is also a much older figure. Older custom. You know, it's still in okay condition, but you know, it's not the best. Uh, here we go. We've got another Roman Reigns. Already too many in the first minute, which kind of sucks, but uh, there's Roman. Next up, we've got a man who will probably end up facing Roman at WrestleMania. It's a quick little prediction there. We've got Braun Strowman with his sheet mask in his hand. Kind of been enjoying Braun, if I'm being honest. I think he's a lot better than when he first came in. And then we've got Evan Bourne right here. Good looking figure. Another uh, one of the older figures that I own. Next up here, we've got the Hall of Fame uh, Four Horsemen Four Pack Rick Flair. Nice looking figure. Uh, we've got this right here, John Cena. I think it's the Elite. Huh. Is it the 40? I think it is. I honestly don't know, but it's got some fixed up arms and everything. We got that guy. We've got this basic Finn, 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 Finn Balor. A lot of Finns right there, just because of the knee pad. Um, hopefully, they make an elite of this. I think this would be a cool attire. I know that ringside exclusive is coming out. That looks kind of good. Uh, we've got one half of the Brain Busters. We've got Arn Anderson right over here. And we've got another basic John Cena right here with the Defining Moments arms. This is also another nice looking basic, if I'm being honest. And then here we go. Got another one. Another basic John Cena in the green attire. Don't really like that. Here we've got my fix-up Finn Balor. Love this guy a lot. One of my favorite fix-ups that I've done recently. And speaking of fix-up, we have another one right here. This is the WrestleMania 28, I believe, CM Punk. And yes, he is missing a knee pad. I have no idea what happened to it. Can't remember anything. Oh, uh, we've got a guy way down here. Jesus, he's falling down. We've got here comes the pain, Brock Lesnar. He's got some really loose legs, which... It's kind of annoying for the figure, but, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, here we go. We've got Natalia right here. Also, her leg's kind of loose. Sort of happens with the Diva figures is the legs, they come really tight, but then as you use them, like, just slowly, they just kind of get super loose. And here we go. We've got the Legends, Eddie Guerrero. One of my favorite figures recently. Love this guy a whole lot. And speaking of guys I love, we've got Y2J, Chris Jericho, the Lost Legends with the Elite 20 head scan. And then here we go, we've got a basic Heath Slater. Let's actually move this right a little bit. There we go. Oh, are we falling? No, we're not. Basic Heath Slater. His head sits super high on his neck, by the way. Here we've got Hulk Hogan, uh, Defining Moments, fix up with the Hall of Fame head scan and the jacket as well. And here we go, we've got a custom elite Jeff Hardy that I got from BW Figs. Uh, I think that was our last trade that we did. Should be doing a new one soon, hopefully. And here we go. We got Defining Moment Sting fix up with the Elite 29 head. And I believe arms, or maybe, yeah, I think it's the arms as well. And next up, we've got Jim and Brett. The heart, I think the foundation of the dynasty. I don't know. I'm already getting dislikes for that, but there we go. We've got Brett and Jim. Next up here, we've got our NWO Wolfpack Sting. One of the best figures, I believe, of 2016 when we look back on it. And I think it's underrated. I don't know. I don't see a lot of people posting about it or anything like that. Maybe I'm just missing it, but I definitely think this is one of the best figures of 2016. I just think it looks awesome and everything. Here we go. We've got an elite Heath Slater right here. I kind of need a Rhino if they're even doing that tag team anymore. Tyson Kidd almost just fell off. But we've got Rusev right over here with the U.S. title. This is the fix-up with the longer boots. Awesome looking figure, awesome looking fix up. Speaking of awesome, we've got one of my favorite Christmas presents that I got this year, and we've got Asuka. This thing is amazing. Love it. Already talked about it on that Christmas mail call, but I just love that thing so much. We've also got this Elite Triple 
H with, of course, whatever Triple H comes with, and that's a loose waist, which is kind of unfortunate, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we've got a basic Neville right here. Cannot wait for his new attire. That should look amazing. Also have this Kurt Hawkins basic right here. I don't even know if we're going to be getting a, a figure of Kurt Hawkins, probably. Uh, then we've got this Mail Away Man Kind. This is also an older one, and I believe it has the Elite 17 head scan as well. And then here we have a custom Elite Seth Rollins that I just got from Jesus a little while ago. He didn't like it. I actually really like it. Uh, I think it's nice looking, and it's kind of fun to use. So there we go. We've got Rollins right there, and we've also got a basic uh, Rusev. Uh, I don't know if this is the Paul Bear one or not. Does it even matter? It's a basic Rusev. Who cares? WrestleMania 32 Elite Roman Reigns right here. Put that one to the side. Here we go. We got the Tyson kid that wanted to, to fall down. There we go. Got that Elite 40 Tyson kid. And then we've got IRS, I believe, from that same set. Could be wrong, but pretty sure. We got that guy right there. Here we go. We've got this Fix Up Elite 30 Batista. He's got new knees, I believe... One of his arms is new because the wrist broke off, as well as a new head scan. Uh, really nice looking figure. I was actually talking to BW Figs about this and how excited everybody was for this original Elite 30 and how just nobody cares about it anymore. And it was such a shelf warmer. And then we've got uh, this Battle Pack Ric Flair that came with Charlotte. Nice looking attire. Wish it wasn't Elite. Speaking of Elite Ric Flair's, we've got the defining moments right here with the amazing looking robe. Just beautiful. Already talked about that though a while ago. Here you go. Got this fix up Elite 20 Chris Jericho. Let's adjust this a little bit. Uh, with the Lost Legends head scan. It's not the best, and I honestly don't think they've made like a great Chris Jericho head scan in a super long time. But, you know, I think it's better than that other one, which is just honestly goofy looking. And speaking of goofballs, we've got the Miz here, who I'm not that fond of. Uh, we've got his Elite something figure. Can't even remember the series. Got the other half of the Brain Busters. We've got Tully Blanchard from that Four Horsemen uh, four pack and then we've got my uh, referee right here which I will talk about a little bit because this guy is just a shield body with the Shawn Michaels referee t-shirt Damian Sandow head scan and I just think some blank arms which is like you know it's probably the easiest formula to make a referee and it works as well you know you could swap out the head scan I just like that Sandow head scan and then here you go we got an older custom still feel like I made this yesterday but we've got this custom Elite Abyss wonder if any of you guys have been here that long on my channel to remember that when I made that abyss. And I made two of them, actually. Here you go. Got this basic CM Punk to resemble his uh, late 2013, I believe, attire. There we go. Or his Royal Rumble, like, you know, right before he left. And we've got a custom Elite Cactus Jack right here. We'll be getting that new one hopefully soon. Looks great. Then we've got this CM Punk figure fix-up. Uh, with this nice looking head scan, probably one of the best CM Punk head scans if I'm being honest, love that guy. Speaking of CM Punk, we have way more coming in this video, just like this custom, I guess wolf pack, but honestly, I just need to finish this, the torso is not glued, uh, so I guess it's really not finished. We got this uh, ECW CM Punk, well it's an ECW flashback with the new torso and everything, really nice looking. I feel like I also made that yesterday, but that was like almost like a year ago I think. And then we've also got Adam Rose right here, the basic. I really wish it would have the Elite would have been in this attire. I just feel like this is way more better looking than uh, the one that actually came out. Then we've got another custom I've been working on for seven years. We've got this uh, Bradshaw from the APA. Never really got around to finishing my Elite APA. It's made using an Elite 30, or I'm sorry, WrestleMania 30 Undertaker lower body. Um, I believe, uh, what torso is this? Uh, Luke Harper. Yeah, so never really finished this. Also has the APA head scan and everything. Next up. Got this Ric Flair, Defining Moments in the Baby Blue, awesome looking figure. Also, that figure is way older than I thought. I uh, Once again, I feel like that figure just came out. I remember when the photos leaked and everything. And then we have one of my uh, prized possessions. You know, it's not in the best of condition, but this Elite uh, 7 Tyson Kid is a figure that I was really going after for most of my, uh, I guess most of my collecting days. And I never got it until I believe 2014. Absolutely love that figure. Also have this WrestleMania 29 CM Punk. Um, I I feel like I hate it and then I love it. I think it's just the head scan that honestly does it for me. And then we've got this Roman Reigns figure right here. Another Elite Roman Reigns. And then we've got Cody Rhodes Elite 13 fix up. Also missing a knee pad. I don't know why. 
I, I don't know. I feel like I do all these part drops, and I have no idea what I did with them. But here we go. We've got this Drew McIntyre figure, Drew Galloway custom, whatever you want to call it. What the hell is this? There is just a Fondango torso in there. That's always nice. Does that count as a figure? I don't know. Here we go. Got this uh, Fix Up Elite Undertaker with the World Heavyweight Championship, and I believe this Elite Eight attire, but I could be wrong. The red tights, that's awesome. Then we've got this Sami Zayn figure. Can't wait to get the new one with the new head scan. Should look amazing. I feel like I'm just taking from this side. I'm kind of being biased to the right, so we're going to go ahead and take from this side now. With this guy right here, Fix Up CM Punk that my friend BW Figs got me for my birthday. Awesome looking figure. Uh, did the Fix Up, removed the torso tattoo. Should have probably just swapped it, but you know, it's still good looking. I think that was way before I even knew how to torso swap. Then here we go, we've got this uh, Darren Young figure. I have no idea where Titus is. I feel like he's somewhere back there. I don't know. Oh, let's reach for this guy. Another one of my prized possessions. Elite 16, Kevin Nash with the NWO Wolfpack title. Uh, just like the Tyson Kid, I had been looking for this figure for so long. It took me even longer to get this than the Tyson Kid, even though this is widely more available on eBay. Uh, but I finally got it. It's as good as I thought it was. Definitely a prized possession of mine. Here we go. We got some upside down VOD villains as they take a crash to the floor. Who cares about them, though? I guess that crash to the floor kind of symbolizes their career on the main roster. Just kind of crashed and burned. Then we've got this uh, Fix Up Dean Ambrose Elite 30. Six, we've got, speaking of Elite 36, I believe we've got this Bo Dallas. Just got this for Christmas as well. We've had him a bunch of times. Fix up right here, Elite 22, The Rock. Um, I do like this head scan. I think it's a little bit weird looking. Might have to swap that back eventually, but I don't know. There we go. We've got The Rock right there. And then we've got this John Cena with the WWE Championship, which I know is going to make some people mad. But we just got to accept it that probably before WrestleMania, this man is going to be a 16-time world champion. I mean, it's just a fact. It's got to happen. And honestly, he deserves it. And speaking of deserving things, DDP deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, which I, I did talk about in my 2017 predictions. And I think it just has to happen. We've got this Elite. I think it's also 36. I don't know. I could be wrong. DDP, though. Here he is. Got his basic in here somewhere as well. Uh, next up, oh, we got Christian, but I want to put him with Edge, so I'll just wait for that. We got this Macho Man Randy Savage with the Wing and Eagle Championship. That looks nice. We've got this Elite 16 CM Punk with the spinner belt and a different head scan. Elite 45 Seth Rollins. I also do have another one in here somewhere with his titles and everything, but uh, yeah, right, there we go. We got that guy. We've also got this Tyson Kid, the basic that came with that Cesaro. Nice looking figure. Here we go. We've got a basic uh, Undertaker. Really random one. Don't think I'll be doing anything with that anytime soon. Speaking of Undertaker, we've got his brother, Kane. This is the uh, Elite 6, I believe, or Elite... Th no, I think this is the Elite 3. Could be wrong, though. With a swapped head scan. This one looks way better than the one that was originally on there. Also got this older figure, Tensai right here. And okay, we'll address the elephant in the room. Okay, I don't know why I have two great colleagues, okay? And I'm sorry, I apologize. I have no idea why I own two of these. I can't explain it. I, I bought one, I saw it at retail, and the other one I found under my bed. I, I, I don't know, I didn't even know I owned one in the first place. Speaking of which, I don't know, that's a weird segue. We got Elite 30, uh, WrestleMania 30 I should say. Uh, Bray Wyatt with the swapped head scan with that amazing head scan. Got a basic Cesaro right here. We've also got his tag team partner, Sheamus, the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Um, you know, hope we get those new Raw, ta Raw, ugh, Raw Tag Team titles soon because I, I do think they look good. Got this uh, basic Kevin Owens from when it first came out. Not really using that. Got this uh, basic Dolph Ziggler as well with the swapped head scan because I have uh, the better head scan on a, a fix up. And speaking of fix ups, we've got one I'm not really proud of. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking when I made this. I think it's awful. We've got Custom Elite Baron Corbin right there. Not even accurate to height or anything. But one custom I am happy that I own. We've got this Custom Elite AJ Styles from Burnout Inc. Which I still love even though the Elite is out. This is still a prized possession. Absolutely love that. We've also got some Undertakers here. We've got this uh, WrestleMania 31 I believe. The exclusive. I don't know. This is nice looking though. 
Also have the San Diego Comic Con exclusive, not the defining moments. You can tell by the bluish gray on the, the tights and everything, which is just, uh, I think, another prized possession. You know, even though we have gotten that Taker uh, sort of re-released, I just kind of like this version more. I also have this Sin Cara figure right here, much older figure that I own. Also have the Lucha Dragons as well. Man, I really need to start taking from this side. And speaking of which, we've got Scott Hall right here, NWO ringside exclusive. Also have the boss herself, Sasha Banks, doing a nice little pose right there. Got uh, the brand new, as I'm filming this, the brand, brand new SmackDown Tag Team Champions, American Alpha. And I'm sure when we're looking back on this video at the end of 2017, there'll probably be multiple time tag champs. Hope they're not broken up, though, by that time. Really hope not. And I hope they have a lengthy title run. And we've also got another champion right here. We've got Umaga with the Intercontinental Championship. Should have put the Winged Eagle title on this guy, but we've got this Diesel, another really old figure. One of the first figures I got when I got back into collecting in 2013. Got this Hardcore Kane with the Intercontinental Championship. I have no idea where my Hardcore title is, and it's really bothering me, because I thought I had it. I don't know if I traded it. I'm really confused. Here you go. We got this Dean Ambrose in his FCW attire with the tights. Kind of wish he'd bring that back. feel like everybody wants that. And we've got Paul Bear right here, another figure that I really was looking at for a long time because that original series, that original Paul Bear series was like supposed to hit the U.S. for like two years and it just never happened. And then they released it finally. So finally we got that Paul Bear and we can put these two together finally now that I found Ed. We've got Edge and Christian with the classic tag titles. Another set of gems I think in my collection. Definitely stand out a lot. Also have somebody a very boring person who won't stand out of course dean malenko no disrespect to him still love him then we've got dean ambrose here with the intercontinental championship which at the time that this is coming out he's currently chasing it again for the second time in his career i believe then we've got this figure right here lee 25 brodus clay one of the rarest figures i own definitely a favorite that i know everybody wants flashback basic gold dust hopefully get that what is it, 47.5 soon? Because that looks awesome. Here we've got Elite 33 Blue Tista. Another uh, older figure, honestly. Uh, basic Undertaker. Nothing really special about that. Let's go ahead. Let's head over to the left again. Because once again, we're going in a pattern. Uh, here we go. we got Sergeant Slaughter Hall of Fame 1, I believe. We've got this Drew McIntyre Elite 8. I'm wrong. I think I'm right, though. Uh, Elite 33 X-Pac with the European Championship. Another figure that was just like everybody was so excited for and then the hype just completely died down. Uh, here we go. We got this Luke Harper figure right here. Uh, fix up with the new head scan. I also have those new arms on there because the ones I originally had actually broke. Elite 18 Undertaker also fix up with the basic 16 head scan. Absolutely love that head scan. Uh, here we go. We've got another Undertaker. A lot of Undertakers in this video. Got the WrestleMania 31 exclusive with the Elite 23 parts and the uh, Entrance Greats head scan, which is just absolutely amazing. Uh, here we go. We've got Chavo Guerrero right over there. Uh, Elite 42, I think. 41, 42. I always confuse it. Uh, Finn Balor. And speaking of that Finn Balor, we've got another one right here, which I got fairly recently. Uh... It's kind of become a little bit expensive. Uh, all those ballers really are at this point. Uh, here we've got a fix-up Shawn Michaels. Also, we'll have a lot of Shawn Michaels in this video. And then we've got my favorite wrestler of all time, Mr. Rob Van Dam right here. I actually completely forgot to show the ones on the side here. Uh, we've got the Dudley Boys right here. Let's see if we can get their titles on them. There they are. There are those Dudley Boys. I already miss them, honestly. Really do. Uh, fix up Stone Cold Hall of Fame body with the a custom shirt I believe I got from Gnati a really long time ago, uh, and also the Defining Moments uh, jacket, and I believe the Battle Pack head scan, and that's an awesome looking one. Uh, then we've got uh, Primo here, right? I have no idea where Epico is. He's somewhere. I don't know. I'm sure we'll see him at some point. Here we've got this Undertaker figure right here with the loosest legs in the world. I mean, my goodness, they're bad. Here we go. We've got. Right over here, the smacked. Actually, she's not the women's champion. We've got La Luchadora herself, Becky Lynch. 
one of my favorites right now, if I'm being honest. Then we've got Paige right here, who I do miss dearly. Uh, we've got Lita. A lot of Divas figures now. Or women's figures, sorry. We've got this Lita right here. Sad to see her gone. We're not going to be getting any figures of her anytime soon. And then we've got, uh, who I hope we get some updated attires of at some point. Got these Uso figures with the tag titles. Here we go. We've got the Shawn Michaels fix-up, which I think personally is absolutely gorgeous uh, with the ponytail head scan. And I only did this fix-up for this fix-up, for the white one, for the WrestleMania 12, I think. or I always confuse it between 13 and 12. Um, and both of these are just, just gems. Love these two. Even though they're new, just love them. Uh, here we go. We've got 1-2-3-Kid right there. Here we've got my Kevin Owens, who I put the Winged Eagle title on from that one photo shoot the WWE did, which was awesome. Uh, we've got another Kevin Owens right here. All right, we're kind of winding down a little bit. A fix-up Undertaker, one of my favorites. Probably one of my favorite Undertaker fix-ups, if not my favorite. This is awesome looking. Uh, also have this basic Undertaker right here with um, an interesting looking head scan. I remember when people, I think there were a couple people... Maybe, I don't know. I thought people used this head scan for Roman Reigns for a little bit before that Reigns figure came out. Then we've got, uh, yes, 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 Daniel Bryan right there. Hope we get some new Daniel Bryans, but probably not. Uh, here we go. We got the WrestleMania, or I'm sorry, the Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, uh, Brooklyn Takeover Bailey. I should know. I was there. The match was amazing in real life. Uh, here we go. We've got the big boss man. New basic uh, JBL right over here throw him down uh, macho man Randy Savage elite 23 if I'm correct um, here we've got Alberto Del Rio should be seeing another one soon I believe he's somewhere in here uh, here we've got fix up John Cena from the defining moments body and those custom arms or oh, I'm sorry those arms that came with that edge figure that are kinda hard to find Got some more Shawn Michaels right here. Got the ringside exclusive. And then we've got the Toys R Us exclusive with the Intercontinental Championship. And then we've got the Walgreens exclusive. Boy, Michaels has honestly had a lot of exclusive figures. I don't remember the last time we got an elite line Shawn Michaels. Uh, feels like it's been a while, but there we go. Um, William Regal right here with the European Championship. Here we've got two members of the New Day. Before they were in the New Day, we've got Big E and Kofi Kingston. Here we've got an Elite Brock Lesnar, the GameStop exclusive. I believe these three are together. Where's Xavier? Where are they? I don't know. I'll leave them there. We've got this basic Biggie right here and the basic Kofi to match it. Here we've got uh, Stardust, also another guy with some really loose legs. And this was honestly my first successful torso swap as well. Uh, fix up Big Show with uh, this. I think it's a Survivor Series Heritage head scan, but it's an awesome head scan nonetheless. Here we've got two El Toritos. Again, don't know why I have two. I think the first I traded with BW Figs, and then we got this Santino um, with the snit with the Cobra, of course, and the Intercontinental Championship, which is. Uh, what I remember Santino being. Then we have another one of the gems, if not the biggest gem in my collection, the Elite 12 Kane, which is just such a beautiful figure. Absolutely love that. Then we have another beautiful figure and another gem, a newer figure, AJ Styles with the WWE Championship. Love that. Uh, here we go. We've got Wade Barrett right there. Jimmy Hart. Don't know where his accessories are. Might have lost them. We've got Lana right here. The Defining Moments John Cena with the U.S. title. Should have put on the spinner one. I have it somewhere. No idea, though. Uh, Elite Tyler Breeze, an older figure. Not in the best of condition. Elite 36 Bray Wyatt. Another figure that I was really excited for and just kind of didn't live up to my expectations. Here we've got the bunny. Yes, that's right. The bunny. Not relevant anymore, but uh, we've got the bunny figure nonetheless. Boy, they came out with that figure really late. Then we've got this custom elite El Generico from Burnout Inc. I have to fix the back of the mask because the thing is missing. It fell off somewhere, but that's an easy fix, honestly, so it shouldn't be that hard. Uh, here we've got the elite Yoshitatsu. 
uh, elite, or I'm sorry, elite, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I've been doing this for a while, 25 minutes, Jesus Christ. Uh, Batista, right here. Uh, nice looking guy, got that recently as well. Uh, here we've got Bam, Bam, Bigelow. I really do want that then, now, and forever one. I just can't find it for a decent price. Here we've got a custom Elite Edge. It's the Elite 8 with a new torso. I believe new shoulders, elbow pads, everything. Head scan. Really nice looking figure. Love that. Uh, then we have Shelton Benjamin right here. Can't wait for him to come back. Hopefully he comes out soon. Or comes back soon, I should say. And here we've got the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. Another figure that honestly I wanted and I was seeking out right before he passed and then once he passed of course his, the price of the figure just jumped completely. Uh, here we've got Justin Gabriel right here. Next up I don't even know where to reach. There's just so many options. We've got Farouk from the Nation of Domination 2 pack which is now just a shell former. Uh, and then we've got uh, who were recently voted I believe best tag team of the year. We've got the Young Bucks Nick and Matt Jackson. Custom Elites from Burnout Inc., my man. And we've got an Elite Tyler Breeze right here, who's off to the side. Here we've got Randy Orton with the shirt from one of those earlier Elites. Here we've got Corporate Kane, which I think is very underrated. Yes, I actually do like Corporate Kane. I thought he honestly had his moments where he was really, really funny. Um, here we go. We've got Rusev right here. Basic Rusev. Why do I have two of those? Uh, one of my favorite basics, if not my favorite, uh, Tyler Breeze with the European Championship, which just matches the attire. It's so gorgeous, pun intended, because he is gorgeous. Breeze is gorgeous. And then we've got Kevin Nash, ringside exclusive. Here we've got Elite 29 Gold Dust. Here we've got this uh, Lost Legends, I believe, Ultimate Warrior, or the Legends, I believe, 6. Could be wrong, sorry about that. Uh, Rocky Maivia figure, the figure that I won actually from Burnout Inc.'s original uh, review giveaway, which was so long ago, before I was even anything on YouTube. And then here we've got Rey Mysterio. We've got another Finn Balor right here. Here we've got the WrestleMania 32 attire of Triple H that came out recently. Really nice looking. I did put the title on him by now. Maybe I should have put it on someone else. Here we've got Elite 23 Undertaker, or the Lost Legends one that I just recently got for Christmas, which is awesome. Uh, Emma Alina right here, or Emma, I don't know. Doesn't even matter at this point. She hasn't even debuted by the time I'm filming this. And then we've got uh, the Dudley Boys right here. The basics. Stevon's kind of messed up because I, I had to use his arms for my uh, custom Elite Apollo Crews. I think we will be seeing shortly. Uh, here we've got DDP himself, the basic with the elite vest. Here we've got another one of my favorite customs right here. We've got the custom elite NXT Seth Rollins that Bernard Nick made me with the NXT Championship. Absolutely gorgeous. Another custom I made here. We've got a uh, Kurt Angle with the knee brace and all. And one of my lights went out, which is uh, fantastic, but that's not going to stop us from filming the rest of this. And as you can see right here, we've got this Elite 45 Seth Rollins with the United States Championship, as well as the WWE Championship. We've got this Demon Finn Balor from uh, Beast in the East, I believe. Uh, next up here, we've got the WrestleMania 31 Seth Rollins. Awesome looking figure. Um, here we go. We've got this Charlotte Flair. Basic that came with Ric Flair, Razor Ramon right over here, Stephanie McMahon, another older basic that I actually got really early. I think even before Ringside got it, I got it on eBay. And then we've got Damian Sandow with the World Heavyweight Championship, which he should have won. Here we've got Titus O'Neil. It's a new day here. I don't even want to do them separately. Here you got a basic Chris Jericho. New Elite Cesaro, really nice looking, love that. Uh, here we've got Big E, New Day's over there. I wanted to put them together, but honestly, who cares at this point? We're really deep into this collection video. Uh, I think this is a Legends Rock, could be wrong. Might be the defining moments, I don't know. But there's the Rock. Uh, another basic Cesaro right here. And man, we are really about to be done with this, man. Ringmaster Steve Austin. We've got uh, Ryback right over here. 
Dolph Ziggler custom stuff to glue the torso. As you can tell, it's really loose. Uh, Defining Moments USA Sting. Ringside exclusive Chris Jericho. Here we've got Alberto Del Rio fix up. Really like this one actually. Then we've got this uh, Ricardo Rodriguez to go along with him. Here we've got Paul Heyman right here. We've got Carlito, of course. Basic figure, really nice. Uh, Kevin Nash, whose ponytail broke off. Reach deep over here to get AJ Lee, the lost leader, I believe, of the women's division from a couple years ago. Here we've got an elite Neville. Uh, basic Daniel Bryan, which hopefully we get an elite of one day. Really winding down, we've got Xavier Woods right here. I think we've got less than 10, if I'm being honest with you. We've got Kofi Kingston. Apollo Crews right here. Finally get to see him. Uh, Bray Wyatt, another loose figure in Elite 28 that we were all hyped for. Uh, we've got, I forgot, I have some to the side over here. We've got the Road Warriors Legion of Doom. We've got Zack Ryder, another really old, old figure. Uh, we've got Epico from way back when, as well as this Bailey. Brian Pillman right here, newer figure that I got. Uh, we've got Zeb Coulter missing a foot, which is uh, very unfortunate. Stephanie McMahon. And then we've got these guys to the right, but the last of the bunch here, Edgy Christian Basics, I just got for Christmas. And then we've got this right here, Stone Cold figure, which is great looking with the titles. And last, but certainly not least, we've got the power of positivity here to end this collection video. The new day is here, and Jesus Christ, that ends this collection video. My goodness. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you stuck through through the end... Boy, this was long, way longer than I wanted, but thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, hopefully 2017 is a good year. Really hope it is, especially for wrestling. Stay tuned. Oh, boy. To the next one.